my name is Phoebe and this is my second TED video for the MBS TED class. This video is a response to one of the TED talks that we've watched thus far. One of the videos that we watched is Brene Brown's The Power of Vulnerability. This talk was by a woman who was a self-proclaimed research storyteller and she lived by the motto of if you can't measure it, it doesn't exist. After forming an experiment on connection in six years of research, she found that the people who are worthy of connection believe that they are worthy. And the one thing that keeps us from connection is the fear that we are not worthy. She also talked heavily about courage. To have the ability to tell the story of who you are with your whole heart. She drew the conclusion that in order to have this courage, one must fully embrace vulnerability. And to quickly define vulnerability, it means a state of exposure. When she collected data, which included people's stories of belonging, she found people telling stories of displacement and shame. She saw a trend and believed that what made them vulnerable made them beautiful. This vulnerability was necessary. But instead, a common mistake is made, and rather than embracing this vulnerability, we take drastic measures of hiding it such as yearning for power and control, making the uncertain certain, blaming, perfecting, and pretending that what we do doesn't have an effect on the people around us. Now, I'm going to talk to you about my reaction to her findings. My initial reaction was pure shock. Honestly, I had to grab the table that I was sitting at and hold on for dear life because I was just taken away by her research. Honestly, my jaw dropped to the truth and the truth of how closely it related to what I was going through. And I believe what a, a lot of other teens are going through as well. We are constantly trying to define ourselves and to fit into a box of either societal norms or our environment standards. May that be at home, at school, or at work. While we're trying to put a label on ourselves, People tend to do that for us, and the ability to just be becomes lost. This is where tools to numb come in. We're scared to be alone, so we constantly have simulating smartphones to distract us. We're scared to let people in, so we provide them with a the false, fake side of us and tools to approach that side with social media websites such as Facebook and Twitter. When when I heard Brene Brown talk about the power of letting ourselves be vulnerable, I began to cry. Real tears streamed down my face. And I was curious about why I was crying at first, but then I finally realized that I'm just tired of being numb and constantly numbing myself from just being what I actually am. But I think the power of just being is the flexibility of it. We often try to solidify ourselves but I believe that what we are is actually malleable creatures. So Brene Brown ended with four points on the power of vulnerability. And they are to let ourselves be seen, to love with our whole hearts, to practice gratitude and joy, and to believe that we are enough. You are enough. Thank you.